Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the subjective questions that came in BSTAT BMAT 2020. So let's start with the first question. So it says that if I is a root of the equation x squared plus one equals to zero and omega be a root of the equation x squared plus x plus one equals to zero, then you need to construct a polynomial where that polynomial will ha have all integer coefficients and it will have one of the root to be i plus omega. So a very simple thing to do would be to take x equals to i plus omega because finally you will be getting the root to be i plus omega and now if we take i on one side and omega on the other side and now we'll cube it because we know that omega cube is equal to 1 so that's why let's cube it so x minus i cube omega cube and now if we expand it so we are going to get x cube minus i cube minus 3i x squared plus 3x i squared and that is equal to 1 now if you simplify so you're going to get x cube minus and now i cube is minus i so together you're going to get plus i minus 3i x squared minus 3x because i squared is minus 1 and so this is equal to 1 and so we get x cube minus 3x minus 1 equals to i 3x squared minus 1 and now you see that we need a polynomial with integer coefficients but we have i here so that tells us to square both the sides because if i square up i so i would get minus 1 let's square both the sides so x cube minus 3x minus 1 whole square is equals to i square 3x squared minus 1 whole square and this is equal to x to the power 6 plus 9x square plus 1 minus 6x to the power 4 plus 6x minus 2x cube is equal to now i square is minus 1 so minus 9 x to the power 4 minus 6 x squared plus 1 and now if you take everything on one side and simplify it out so you are going to get x to the power 6 plus 3 x to the power 4 minus 2 x cube plus 3 x squared plus 6 x plus 2 equals to 0 and so this is your required polynomial and it has one of its roots to be i plus omega. This solution was proposed by Rakesh Kumar, one of my colleague at ISI. I have also posted my solution on my website. You can go and check it out. The link is in the description. I'm posting the solution in my video because it requires much lesser computational power than my solution but the two solutions have their advantages like here you are finding a six degree polynomial but in my you can find a four degree polynomial with such property and so here is the solution of question one